the network for the AV industry. What are you listening to? This. This is AV. This. This. This is is AV AV Nation. Nation. This is AV Nation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the MHO Show. My name is Chris Neto. I am one of the hosts. I'm joined by the fabulous co-host team of Mike and Melissa. Melissa, how are you tonight? Hey, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. You know why? Why? Because it's AV month. (laughs) It is AV month. That is why. (laughs) Mike, you're excited. You're pumped. I love it. How is AV month going for you? AV month is going fantastic for me. I can't wait to talk about it. Excellent, because that's what we're going to do at the show if you haven't guessed that yet. So, October has been designated AV month by Infocom. What does that mean? Well, it's a month-long celebration of us uh, doing things in our industry. What can that mean? Some companies that have taken to charity and uh, are doing charitable things, like uh, uh, maybe they're out doing Habitat for Humanity. Other people are out there doing uh, education and training on our end to educate their uh, internal employees about um, you know different technologies that AV has and use this month as a good way to do it. Others are taking to the web, doing webinars, telling you things about their products and you know technologies that are out there and what it's like to be in AV. I know that AV Nation has been furiously pumping out content for 31 and 31. We've brought in uh, a host of uh, uh, content um, providers, not really content providers, but writers, guest bloggers, uh, great guests. Um, sounds like an infomercial for, for AV Nation, but the idea is that we try to bring in a different perspective and how maybe people have um, uh, taken to AV uh, month and what they're doing. So, what can we talk about AV month that hasn't been talked about yet? Let's go down to Melissa, and Melissa, give us a little bit. Maybe you have the back history of AV month, how this whole thing started. I heard it started as a week. As a week? I remember back then. Go figure. (laughs) Um, I also was the proud provider of having um, the governor of Georgia declare a proclamation for AV week. What? 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 You know the governor? Well, you know, hey, I hang out in tight circles, as you can tell from some of these shows. I didn't, um, know, that, I didn't know that Doug got elected. <laughs> <laughs> and that so, governor didn't have a patch on his eye, did he? No. Um, but Not we, that did, we did get to go down and, um, you know, do the photo op for the signing and all that. Anyway. Nice. So um, that, um, for me, I got to travel with Almo, the distribution company. Mm-hmm. and um, provide some training and education uh, Tuesday, so this week for part of month. Um, I wanted to throw out an announcement that was made today that I thought was uh, one of the better announcements I've heard in a while, and that was Infocom has um, put their curriculum into a high school out in California. Uh, that wow. is pretty cool. I'm sorry, I had to get a little golf clap for that. Go ahead. Yeah, that, that is really cool. I would like to see, now that they figured out how to do that, love to see that be adopted in more schools throughout the country. Um, talk about trying to create uh, an excitement and interest for what we do. Uh, I got to hand it, hand it off to them. That was a pretty good move. So There's plenty of, there's plenty of high school Votech uh, schools out there that could use this. And a lot of them, I know from, from my own personal um, uh, I, well, I don't even know how, what, what, me going to school and seeing what's going on in the high schools right now, uh, they still have a video production facility. You know, they're still shooting videos and stuff like that to add a, you know, an AV component to it would make sense. There's going to be kids that are more hands-on than directors and God, there is no future in being a director. I know. I was there. <laughs> well, well, you know, I, the Almo show, the Almo E4 tour just wrapped up in Dallas, Texas. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was uh, there with a friend of ours, um, Alicia, the, from the, at the Smooth Factor, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, she came and visited me from Houston, bless her heart. Um, 
But did you know that she helps with one of the second largest football stadium in Texas? I and heard. it's for a school corporation. Wow. So talk about uh, an exciting program that you could put there. I mean, they're running a top-notch production facility. So, um, yeah, so I thought that was great. Um, good news from Infocom. Happy to see that uh, they were able to get that accomplished. Look forward to seeing it happen in, um, elsewhere in the country. And I know you were out there talking OLED, which is a hot topic. The OLED. A little bit of HDR sprinkled OLED. in. OLED. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have taken this on because now I look at my display in the living room and go, oh, we have to replace it. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, the OLED is a gorgeous, um, lightweight, and, uh, and just overall some pretty. Tim Albright, I had no idea that you actually had long blonde hair like that. <laughs> I really didn't know. This show has Tim Albright written all over it with this OLED thing. Mike. It is some sexy technology, boys. Sexy. Mike, Melissa's down at E4, and um, you know she's there doing a little bit of chatting about uh, uh, OLED and stuff like that. Now, obviously, the show is, is about AV month. Um, you know, you have the manufacturers reps going out on tour doing these these road shows. We know that because there's plenty of them up in our area in the north, in the northeast area. Um, not everybody is mixing or blending in the uh, training components to it. They'll do a lot of you know, uh, dog and pony shows regarding hey, here's a product, here's a you know line that we carry, here's that. But to go into the level of you know, what Melissa's doing with the OLED stuff and teaching about the technology in general as opposed to product specific, that is a boost for our, our industry and for the attendees. I think it would probably draw more people in when you're, when you're throwing at the, that stuff. Yeah, I agree. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, today in celebration of AV Month, uh, we had Carl Rosenberg from Extron in our office, and he was giving us all of his uh, wonderful slideshows and his powerpoints. He's got a powerpoint for everything. Uh, you know, <laughs> focused on uh, focused on all the new technologies that are emerging that Extron's looking at. Um, you know, so so we try and, and use this month as a means to educate the team and get everybody up to speed with uh, the latest and greatest technology. That's not really how my company celebrates AV Month, though. When we celebrate AV Month, we actually look towards the people. We look towards the people that actually helped to build the organization and get us to where we're at this year, last year, years, years, years of service. Uh, so tomorrow night, I'm really looking forward to uh, going out on a team-building activity, something that we've uh, uh, implemented this year. Uh, we break out into all of our, our separate departments and go out and just have fun, have a nice nice meal on the company, and then just go do something fun. And tomorrow night is <laughs> tomorrow night is shooting zombies with paintball guns, and I can't wait. It's why did we of... not wait to shoot this show while you're at the zombie shootout? That would have been uh, an excellent MHO show. Because it would have had to rely on your network, so and, you know. and we know that my network is hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but but Chris, uh, in 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 response to previous episodes, Dion Sanders, you know, preaching about how wonderful he is um, mm -hmm. tomorrow night. Uh, all of the people that were shooting in the zombie uh, experience are wearing Dallas Cowboy jerseys. So I'm really looking forward to tomorrow night. Walking Dead heads to Dallas. This is awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> well, that's a, that's an interesting way. I mean, the team building stuff is something that's important in our industry. I don't think a lot of companies do that. Uh, yeah, some say they do, but dude, here's for the viewers that are viewing and the listeners that are listening and stuff like that to hear that a company's actually doing that sort of stuff. You know, it makes you. You know, if if you are a new guy and you're listening to our show and you're new in the industry, and your company is not doing that sort of stuff, you know to rethink some of this stuff you know how involved are they are they just in it for the buck you know I, I sort of question it I sort of like the idea of the uh, well no I definitely like the team building stuff I definitely like the idea of using this month as a great excuse for bringing in the technicians who are constantly out on the field get them up to speed you know one of the things that integrators fall short on Service technicians know the old stuff. They don't get to work on the new, new stuff, so they're always kind of lacking. Break your service guys in. Get them off the road. Pick a holiday. Take Columbus Day. Bring them in and do a training bonanza. Provide them lunch, maybe dinner. 
something like that. That would be cool. I know that when I was uh, working on site for a corporation internally, so I was an employee of, of, of a Fortune 500, I took AV Month or actually AV Week at the time, and I used that as a way to explain what AV was to our end users. So we set up a table inside the cafeteria, brought out our projectors, brought out some big screens, put our uh, internal website up, showed a couple videos that would drag people over it because they're watching, you know, something on TV, because that's what we do. We provide a little bit of the wow. So I played a movie. They came over. They were curious what was going on. And I basically had five minutes to say, hey, listen, we're here. We're on site. We're here for your service. We are one of you. We're one of, you know, we're part of the group. Use us. Don't necessarily, at the time, it was still a, a split between this side support and AV. So this is what we're here for. We're here to help you with your video conferences. We're here to help design your conference rooms. And if you have a problem, let us know directly. So there you go. I mean, there, there's three different interesting ways to take advantage of the AV month. Are, are, are we on track with the way that this was originally started, Melissa, or has now AV month grown into something bigger? You know, I think it's gotten bigger. Um, the whole idea, I believe, in my humble opinion, um, the idea I think behind it was just to generate excitement, exposure, and and help educate the industry on what it is we do. So if we can get more people excited, grab their attention, then that was really the goal. So. You know and I, and I love it. I, I know it was conceived as an Infocom idea, but I know that Mike does a lot of work with NSCA with his Ignite program to bring new bodies into the industry. Should AV Month be adopted by more than just one trade association? Should this be a all-out effort from, from everybody to get the interest going? The CDS, the NSCAs, the big Cs, whoever's out there that, you know, ISE, maybe this should spread out to Europe. Maybe there should be something bigger. Mike, what's your thought on it? I know that you have a vested interest in, in, in the attracting new talent into the industry. That is a passion of yours, and that's something that you work for and work towards. I'd love to hear your humble opinion on that. It absolutely is, and I can tell you that there are discussions happening between the trades, uh, between the trade organizations, that is, um, on an executive level. It's not happening just between volunteers. There, there are executive conversations about how do we bridge our efforts together to actually solve the problems of the entire industry. So stay tuned, uh, you know, keep in touch with the news that is going on as relates to Ignite, as relates to uh, Infocom and, and everything that CD is doing and ISE is doing. I can tell you that there are gaps being bridged. And, uh, and I think that in, in maybe under a year or so, we might actually have some major announcements about some joint initiatives. It's, it's going to be a wonderful thing. To quote Braveheart, unite the clans. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Well, I mean, there you have it. I mean, Infocom, whoever it is that's out there that wants to be part of uh, AV Month, yes, Infocom did start it. But I think it's grown to something bigger and better. I think it's something that everybody's taking on. You're seeing publications that are doing AV Month-specific um, um, drives, uh, not just AV Nation. There's others out there that are working towards that. Uh, you see manufacturers doing a lot of cool stuff. I think it's a great opportunity to um, not, I hate saying sell because that sounds so dirty and so car salesman-y to be out there and saying sell our industry, but no, but we are proponents. We're advocates of our industry. This is what we should be doing. It's only one month out of the year. Why not? Melissa? I agree with you. I think that um, the more we can do to promote ourselves, the better and to enhance the industry. So, you Mike, you got any closing thoughts on this so we can close out this episode of MHO? No, I just, I think it's a wonderful thing when all the trades come together, uh, all the trade organizations come together towards a common goal. And I would love to see more of that. You know what I think is a wonderful thing? What? And I can't tell you because my network is crapping out on me. Great. No, no, no. If we I'm hear you. On my network, that's a wonderful thing. Believe it or not, we actually hear and see you. Yeah, you hear me? I'm yeah. surprised because my network, my, my network is all of a sudden going down. No, this it hasn't been a theme bell. at all. This has never been a theme. No, no. What what is a what is a great thing, Chris? What is it? 
that I'm here with you fine folks on a, on a Wednesday night chatting about AV month and how to wrap this month up and wrap it up the right way. And just to close out that AV month, I have to do a little self-promotion because one of the things that we will be doing is AV Nation will be heading out to New York City for Digital Signage Week. That is a whole other MHO show in itself. I'm excited to say that we will be broadcasting live from Dactronics on, uh, there was a, I forget what the Monday is. I think it would be the 24th. Yes, we are broadcasting live on the 24th uh, from the Dactronics. Uh, in Times Square? In Times Square from the Times Square. Beautiful. Time I'm, I'm, look at me, I'm all jittery and I can't even talk. I'm like a, I'm like a little school kid all excited about it. It's, it's night before Christmas, go figure. Melissa, how will people, and God knows our fans, how would are they love to find with you on the internet? How can they do that? <laughs> you can find me at all4ab.com or Melissa Dillman on Twitter. And you just wrapped up the E4 show, so that right. is done for the year. But We'll be know. back in the spring with Chicago and San Jose. Breaking news. Breaking news. There you go, right here on the MHO show. There will be a return of Melissa Dillman to the E4 show. Let's see. See how it goes. Mike, how would you like to close out this show or AV Month? Chicago's a great band. I do like them. I, I think they just got into the Hall of Fame. Uh, you can follow me at AXP Mike on Twitter, at AXP Mike on Twitter. I'm also all over all the other social medias, uh, Snapchat, Facebook, LinkedIn, everything that you want to connect with me on. I'm sure you can find me. Instagram, you know, I'm going crazy now with Instagram. So uh, thank you for, uh, for, for once again listening. So for Mike, Oh, no, excuse me. For Melissa and for the Peter Cetera fan in the room, I would like to say thank you uh, for listening to the show. Thank you for watching the show. And Mike, you are the inspiration, if you know what I'm talking about in Karate Kids. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the MHO Show. I'm Chris Netto. You can find me at Chris underscore Netto on the Twitters. You can find me on uh, Instagram. You can find me on LinkedIn. But more importantly, you can find me at avnation.tv, where me, Mr. Miyagi, Peter Satara, and all the smart people are hanging out. And guess what? We got more shows coming. So don't sleep on MHL because we're coming back at you very soon. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, everybody, for listening. This has been the MHL Show.